businesses here the, the last week or so and uh, trying to keep keep away from all the talk of buying and selling homes right now because really it's probably not everybody's focus right now but today I figured I'd bring on uh, Dan Philippi a uh, good friend of mine he worked for me for years I used to do lending as well and I just thought a lot of you people out there are our friends and clients and I've called some of you right now and everybody has questions in regards to uh, their current loan or people that are purchasing homes have some some loan questions and Dan's been doing all my financing and such and he's handling my transactions and so we kind of want to just cover a few things here and we're on a new system here. I'm trying with all this going on, by the way. And so I'm trying to make sure if you guys have any questions as we go through this, we can uh, get them answered and such. So I'm just trying to get used to this. But anyway, as everybody knows, you know, I, I represent people to buy and sell homes. And Dan is a lender and takes care of, of my clients. And I'm sure a lot of you out there recognize Dan. So Anyway, right now, I want to turn it over to Dan and just kind of give a, a, a little update in regards to the market as far as lending goes right now. Because on my end and with him right now, we got deals going. Uh, it's still business as usual. Things are clicking along. But uh, anyway, Dan, kind of introduce yourself, where you're, who you're with, and kind of give us a breakdown on where things are right now. Happy to do it. Great to talk with you. It's been a long time since I've actually seen your face, so it's nice to connect, <laughs> even if it's mobile. <laughs> <laughs> now we got to do it this way. <laughs> well, first and foremost, it really is, like you said, Dave, it really is business as much as it can be. Um, I will say that the outside environment of what's going on has certainly created challenges, but it is business as normal. Uh, the lending process is still carrying its same A to Z process. Um, the ability to consult and have communication with existing clients, new clients, gathering some information, putting different loan options together for them. So the entire lending world has not collapsed. There is liquidity in the market. Uh, we can service any range of clients from first time home buyers, even jumbo pricing. There is a place, there is a conduit for anybody to reach out and have a discussion on their individual situation and lock down their mortgage financing. All right. And as far as financing, I mean, right now, is there any any major changes that have come up? I mean, currently on anything? I mean, right now, it seems from my end, you know, the first thing I get is, uh, you know, the values of homes and such. I mean, on my end, I haven't had any issues on any appraisal shortages on anything. How's it looking on your end from where you're at? That's a great question. I guess uh, just to add a little humor into this video, uh, you and I are the poster child of patience. So the only thing I would tell everyone out there regarding the financing is the turn times or the underwriting times are tending to be a little bit longer um, with lower interest rates creates more volume. Um, from an operation perspective, the main thing I would just put out there is just have continued patience if if we're asking for something or if another person's working with another lender simply make sure the lines of communication are wide open just know going into it there are going to be some delays and it's only because of the amount of volume that has come in it's in such a short amount of time so everything else is, is really business as normal but i think just some general patience in reference to what we're doing um it, it will help everybody a great deal yeah, that's one thing we don't have much of is patience. But. <laughs> um, and as far as, you know, the, the transactions right now, um, I'm doing a lot of video showings, virtual tours and such for people, FaceTime, Zoom videos and such. So, you know, with the closing and with the, the new rules in effect, you know, I know uh, – the title companies, in fact, the one I use the most, they're doing the drive-in close or drive up closings. Yep. So just let everybody know out there, can can people, if they're afraid to go out 
and get to get, can they sign online or what's the process there when they go to close on their plays? It's a great question. And I will just simply say this from doing mortgages in all 50 states, it's kind of based on the individual title company as well in reference to how they're handling it. Uh, I have seen the extreme of a closing last week in Las Vegas where uh, they really did meet in a Home Depot park next to one another, exchange the documents for the applicable signatures. Um, anything that I've seen local, outside of someone who's not invested in the transition, so this is kind of a get normal for me as well. Uh, you and I have always gone to closings where we're not able to attend to if there's any questions or anything to that extent. So the new norm is only vested parties that are engaged in it can actually go to the title agent, which I think is for good for everybody's safety, including the title agents that we're using. But depending on each state and each individual title company, they are kind of making their own rules, but there are plenty of different options, whether it's still going to the title agent or a notary meeting you or the client wanting to meet in a neutral party. I haven't seen any any restrictions or anything that's noteworthy regarding once you're ready to close, we're going to get to the closing table or get someone to you to make sure that it's taken care of. Okay. Yeah. And I think really that, and it sounds like, you know, kind of where I always like to keep people up to date when I'm dealing with them, but it sounds like if you're currently work, if you're seeing us out there and you're wondering this, whoever you're working with, they probably need to communicate that to you all the way through the process of what what you're going to have to do now because it's changing every day on my end dan's end so if you're in a transaction right now and you're watching this uh reach out to your lender hopefully it's dan and you know figure out the protocol and if you have an agent out there too you know they should be uh filling you in um and and just everybody out there watching knows, you know, Dan and I have known each other forever. Uh, I used to do lending, and we went through the the doldrums of 2008, nine, and you know, we saw all this coming when we were doing it. This is a little different. It's kind of you know like a a tornado has just come through, and just it's like, what do we do? And um, I've been calling some of my clients. If some of you are watching, you probably know I've already talked to you, but I was gonna do something about this on another video, but I thought, well, no better time than now, but if if right now, if you're laid off and you're experiencing you know, your unemployment, you're wondering what you're gonna do about, about making your payments and so forth, well, there's options for you and there always are options, just whether it's this or anything, but just don't get rattled, put your head in the sand, call me, call Dan, we'll get into what he can do there, but what, what I know that you can do right now is call your, your, your lender, and I stress to you, call them in the morning. When you get up, if not, you'll be on power hold for forever, and, Talk to them. Some of them have an online process where you can get on, do what's called a deferment, forbearance, whatever. And some of them right now, I know some of them right off the bat are doing 90 days for people. Yep. So don't, don't add to the stress of everything going on of wondering how you're going to make your payment if you just check their lender. Now, if that's not an issue, there's other things or you want to, look at refinancing and so forth and wonder that well then dan that's where you come in i mean right now back to people that are running into these problems i mean from what i've said that's how i see it from your end i mean have you what what else can you share for people that are experiencing some hard times uh 100 i think you you nailed it right on the head initially the timing of it is going to be imperative so um, if you are experiencing it, immediately reach out to the servicing agent. Um, there are deferments between three to 12 months, but the communication has to be immediate um, with whomever the servicing agent is. Um, I cannot stress that enough. Just, um, just even watching CNBC this morning, uh, there was 10,000 new uh, deferments through Bank of America. So um, if you are experiencing it, I think if you open up the communication more quickly, 
uh, whatever the due process is of whoever's servicing it. Their, their websites are outlining a lot of the checks and balances that you need to do, uh, but there are options. And, it's, and most of these are not gonna be anything negative towards a person's credit report, credit score. So sooner is always better than later, yes. Okay. Yeah, and that's what I always have stressed to people again. I mean, I've been in this 25 years, I think now my hair shows it and Dan as well. And you know, the one thing I've always experienced, whether it's this or anything else, is when people get in dire straits, they don't do anything. And so please call me, call Dan. It's nothing to be ashamed of. We can tell you how to go through the process. And you know, I just I I just really want to reiterate that because everybody that, not everybody, but most people I've talked to don't even know they have those options. Yeah. And I just want to be able to get it out there. You have options and stress it again. So, and as far as um, people that want to refi too, another thing that I've experienced with some of the people I've talked to, appraisals. And again, it's letting people in your house, you're worried about it and so forth. Are they doing drive-by appraisals for people or how's that working with the appraisers currently? That's a great question, man. So to answer your question, yes. Um, as we all know, real estate values here in Denver surrounding communities are still extremely high. 90% um, of the loans that I've worked on have, have been given what's called an appraisal waiver. And that just simply means that a, a new appraisal is not required for you to take advantage of the lower interest rate environment. So. Uh, either speak directly with me, hopefully, but if you're working with somebody else and you have concerns in that department, uh, just find out if you can, if you don't even have to have a new appraisal completed. Um, it's a great it's a great way just to sidestep another part of the refinancing process, and for that matter, that's in it's also for new purchases as well. Uh, a particular deal you and I have working on an, an appraisal was not even required for someone to purchase the property, so. Um, all this is kind of based on an AUS system that we use, but we will we'll relay all the information whether one would even be uh, required on it. But on the same token, there are drive-by appraisal options that are there for everybody's safety, safety and security. So again, it's each individual situation, but those are front and center and we're taking advantage of them right now. Yes. Okay. Well, and likewise from my end, if you're thinking of right now wanting to list your home or you want to view a home, it's kind of the same thing as that, but I, you can ask me, I'll come out, I'll do a walkthrough. I do a lot of video stuff now. Um, I can, I can FaceTime you, Zoom video, yeah, or whatever. And if, you know, if you have other questions about listing your home, you know, there's no dumb questions. And I've had people reach out to me on this and, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things we can still do to still get your place out in the market. Um, there's a lot of buyers out there right now. And in fact, maybe you saw it today too, Dan, but I read, read in the paper today, you know, sellers, you know, there's homes that are coming off the market right now. So there's not a lot of inventory out there, but the homes that are on there, they're still getting multiple offers and there are still a bunch of buyers. Cause I, I know I've sent a few over to you. So, you know, if you have, you have questions on the protocol on how to buy or sell a home, let me know. I'll be, uh, you know, we can Zoom in. I can set a Zoom meeting for you. And then also, if you have questions on lending, the same with Dan. I know Dan forever, and I know he'll do whatever he needs to do to accommodate all you guys out there. If you're thinking of any, you know, again, he can do, I'm sure you can do Zoom or FaceTime or however. However, and I know this guy's available 24 seven. So my, my, kitchen, my kitchen is my office. So I'm around all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, well, is there anything you want to add, Dan, that people can take out of this discussion? Just, you know, I don't know anything else that we didn't cover. You feel like that we need to right now? I, I don't think so, man. I, I think the number one thing from our conversation is just keep the lines of communication wide open. You're available. I'm available. Uh, my entire team is available. So whatever each individual person's looking to talk about, uh, I talk for a living. So let's let's connect on a call. Direct message me. Just let me know what you're going through. Let me know what your goals are. But I think just having an open communication at this given moment 
is going to be very, very helpful. Um, I would, I would, I would stress that as much as I can. Just communicate with us. Communicate with who you're working with. If it's not us, and just let them know your concerns, and just know that we're available and we're, we're always going to be here to help. Um, I think that's the number one thing I would say in closing, Dave. Okay. So. Well, and and before we go, let everybody know how to get a hold of you. I'm going to put your contact stuff on the bottom of this when when we're done. But can you let everybody know how to reach you if they need anything? Yeah, I, they can uh, either direct message me through Facebook, cell phone, 720-470-1594. Reach out to me anytime. Um, just let me know what you're dealing with, how I can help, and we're going to get it taken care of. So, All right. Well, and again, thanks for coming on, Dan. Really appreciate Thank it. You. Um, hopefully everybody out there got something out of this. You know, we're not – we didn't want to get on and paint a doom and gloom picture, you know, it is unknown, you know, moving forward on things. But right now, things are business as usual. Things are are still good. And, you know, the whole thing, as you can take out of this, I think, is just communicate and let us know if you're having problems, though, especially because there are options for you and such. But anyway, feel free to reach out to one of us. We're more than happy to answer everything. And uh, hope you all have a, a great Friday. And thanks again, Dan. I appreciate it. It was good to see you. My hair is falling out, but it's getting pretty long. How's yours looking there? <laughs> uh, I'm going on almost four weeks without a haircut, so I'm well overdue in that department. So uh, a little bit longer than normal, but we'll make do. It's all good. I'm catching you on the facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Thanks again, and uh, enjoy your Friday, and everybody have a, a great day. All right. Thanks, Dave. Everybody be safe. Thank you. All right. Thank you.